BB Cream from Jaya. This one is going to be one that is very interesting to me. I have noticed this on Instagram, Facebook. I kept getting this same commercial. You know how they do that. They, they wear you down. So I don't get worn down very easily, but I do purchase these things to show you guys in case you are tempted and want to see if this is a good product for you, especially for women over 50. This is the commercial I saw and it is very interesting. It shows some before and afters. They call it a mushroom head air cushion CC cream. Now, they say that there, but this is called the beauty cream by Jaya. So, I think it's one of these things where it's kind of called multiple things and I don't know why they do that, but there must be some reason why they do it. The befores and afters are impressive. They say this will cover up a lot of things. One thing that's very interesting to me is they show this African-American woman. She's gorgeous. She, she has a lot of pigmentation on her forehead and then afterwards they show nothing. Here's my question. There are only two colors that they offer. Two. They give you this this little thing online it says if your skin tone is fair to olive pick the color brighten if your skin tone is light brown to black brown pick the color natural now look at those colors <laughs> do any of those look like a woman who is african-american especially this woman is a dark african-american look like that would work for her i'll try i'll see obviously i can't test the african-american skin color but i don't even think those colors will work for someone who is of like like rachel wouldn't even wear it and she tans herself so it comes in this box and it comes with this little thing it's the mushroom thing and it looks like this uh, indeed, it looks like a mushroom. I got it wet and that there's the difference between the two. So obviously it does get a lot bigger with moisture. The other thing I will note is they show this woman here who has very gray hair and they're tapping it on. What cracks me up is first off, I'm pretty sure I've seen this woman on other products. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is not what they're using. This is my own take on it. I know. But they're telling you to use this thing and they're using a makeup brush. That's what another little, hmm, I'm thinking. So why am I doing this? Because I'm taking one for the team. <laughs> it's got this bouncy thing here and it's got holes in it and you're supposed to press this in it and get the color and then do it over your face. Okay, so I'm going to open them both. Is that the color? Here's the first color, and this is in Chinese. I don't know what color this is. How am I supposed to know that? <laughs> number one, it's number one. So there's the color. It looks straight up white on me. The second color, that looks a little bit more, and this is, okay, number two. Okay, I mean, definitely darker. Okay, so there's number one, and there's number two. Number two is obviously the one I think that will match. I did not put any primer on or anything like that. I just have, oh, I almost forgot my SPF. So let me get my SPF. Okay, this says it's ideal for oily, dry, combination, acne, sensitive skin, or even red skin. Wraps upon, wraps upon skin. Wraps upon skin for a naturally smooth, silky finish. So I am going to put this in the thing they show it like that and mine didn't come out quite as pretty as theirs did but <laughs> we'll see all right oh boy that was a lot this is kind of fun i will admit that okay i just feel like i'm getting more and more so i'm going to use the dry one and see oh it's very hard oh i don't like that okay <laughs> Okay, back to the wet one, to the side. I mean, they claim I can just use this even though they show all these other ones. All right, it's getting distributed. I think I just got a lot. So far, not so good. <laughs> this is the dark. So this is supposed to cover up someone who's dark skinned. 
Uh, no. No. Okay. This thing is dreadful because there's no point to it. So it's like hard to get into areas. And it's very like flimsy. Like if I do that, it just bends. So no, I don't like that thing, but I'm using it because it came with it. Watch this thing be amazing. Okay, it definitely is not full coverage because I have tons. Let me see what it's looking up like close. Gathering in on my forehead lines big time. It doesn't look bad, but I wouldn't say I'm like, ooh, love it. Let's try a second coat. I don't like this at all, so let me try the brush. Okay, I'm just kind of pushing it in. I'm not sure what else to do. Okay, there we go. Maybe I got a lot. It's kind of hard to determine how much you get because you really can't see it. The color is honestly not horrible for me. It's definitely too light. This one, the number one would have been like, I would have looked like a ghost. It feels good and you're right. There's no, I mean, they claim there's no smell and there is no smell. It's definitely unscented. Let me see how this looks close up now. Really settling on my forehead lines and under my eyes so it's not very crease resistant to me this is a light medium coverage maybe a medium not strong at all and they're saying you can build this up to a full coverage so okay i'm gonna give it a shot i'm gonna just put it right in that area with a brush which would be the best thing i'm gonna push on this it's really hard to see how much foundation i'm getting when i just push it in that was a lot Okay, I'm gonna take the wet one <laughs> and try to di just distribute it. Oh boy, that looks terrible. I don't know how they say you can get this. To oh, oh, <laughs> foundation everywhere. So it's not very controllable because you can't see where you're putting the foundation. I can't, you can't build it to a full coverage. There's just, no, no. I, I like the concept kind of, but I think it's just gimmicky. I think it's just a gimmick. I mean, as far as the packaging goes, I wanna see how much product I'm getting. And you can't control that at all. Okay, thoughts so far on this foundation. It's not horrible, but it's definitely not something I'm loving right now. I feel like it is moving all over my face. Now, I did powder it down and it's still sticky. So I think I'm gonna have to powder more. In fact, let me do that now. And this foundation is definitely grabbing a hold of my dry skin, but I also don't like it to feel sticky. And I do feel like it's moving around. Now, that did help having that powder on there. The problem is on my forehead, it is etched into my forehead line. So I'm not thrilled about that. I, I, that happens usually at the end of the day, not when I first put it on. And I moisturized very well before I did this. And my skin is not overly dry right now. So I really shouldn't be having this issue, but it is what it is. It is 3.30 and I'm going to do a check-in. I just looked really close. And okay, I have to say when I stopped filming, you know, to you seconds ago, <laughs> I had makeup etched into my forehead lines. Those are actually gone. Sometimes this happens where the natural oils in your skin come through. Now, I do not have oily skin, so I don't have much. So it's not like I get shiny, as you can see. I'm not shiny in any way. But what it does do is it kind of dissipates sometimes, not all the time, if it's etched into my forehead. And this is the case of that. It actually looks better the longer it's been on my skin. It's not better as far as coverage goes. This is very much out and um, my face here, it's not horrible, not at all horrible. So I actually am a little bit more surprised than I thought. I would not say right now I love it, but I'm gonna see how it looks at the end of the day and we will make a final judgment about this foundation. It's five o'clock. I've had this foundation on me since 10 and it is time to take it off. I, I get my face all clean very early in the night. <laughs> right now, it's pretty much off my face. I mean, I can see all my rosacea coming in, all my discolorization. It's really bad right here. I mean, it's so bad right there. 
So I just, yeah, not good. So I will wear this the next couple days to see if it does any better. I will use some primer. I will all do different things so you guys can know I gave it a very good shot before I say it's not good at all. So this is about a week later and I just put this foundation on again, but this time I did a little bit different. I wore the Milani's SPF BFF. This is SPF 30. It's a primer with an SPF included in it, but I went ahead and put on the, this again, and I did use number two. And I gotta tell you, I actually like how my skin looks right now. It is not creasing. It wasn't creasing before I put powder on, and I'm testing a new powder. So I did use a tiny bit of powder, and I kind of didn't need it, but I kind of wanted to take down the shine because this gives a little bit of a shine. And I'm really liking how, I mean, look at how nice all this is. Now, obviously that's coming through a little bit, but not bad. And I don't know, guys, I don't want to like this foundation because I don't know if I trust this foundation <laughs> because I don't trust the company. I just, I don't get it. And so, I don't know. I will obviously do a check-in at the end of the day. I'm gonna set a timer so I remember. So we will see if I like it any better. Okay, it is six o'clock and I did remember, thankfully, to do a check-in. Okay, I hate to admit it, but this didn't do so bad. I, my skin is definitely dry, but that's just my skin. That is not the foundation. Uh, it's not perfect. I mean, this side looks really good. This side has definitely got stuff coming through, but that's very typical for me. I'm reluctant to say I like it because of the fact of that it's kind of weird how it's everywhere and the packaging is different and all that stuff. So I am not going to say that this is a Bobby approved foundation in any way, but I will say that it's not as bad as I thought it was. Would I continue to use it? Possibly. I, I don't know. I'm really reluctant to say I would. I will never use their sponge again. That thing is a train wreck. I would never want to use that. But I, you know what? This is obviously your choice. So if you think that you want to take the chance, it seems like it's a pretty moisturizing foundation. The colors, there's two. Good luck with that one. <laughs> if you are dark skinned, I, I, I don't know how in the world you would ever use this. There's just no way. So they're off their rocker on that one. But, okay, <laughs> I'm saying no more. This one was has been a weird one. So if you wanna see my playlist from my first five days of foundation, I am going to link that one right here and I will see you there and maybe another one. God bless.